Hi, my name is Jairus. I'm a Jack of all trades, master of none, and this is Jairus of all. Now it's time to show you how I actually did the customization. So I'm going to show you how I turned these blasters, which are kind of boring and normal Nerf-like, into these blasters. And I know I showed you that real quick, but I want it to be a surprise at the end when I show them to you for a long time. Anyway, here we go. This is how I did it. To make things easy for reassembly, when I did the disassembly, I outlined all the different blasters with Sharpie on a piece of foam so that I could mount the screws in their respective locations. During disassembly of the hammer shot, I realized how easy it is to actually make this a really fantastic blaster. So I clipped out the air restrictors on the plunger system and took out the safety mechanism and then I clipped out all the stuff inside the cylinders to make sure that the airflow was optimized. I did light sanding on all of them with thousand grit sandpaper. After the sanding, I wiped them all down with a wet rag to remove all the remnants from sanding and then I wiped them down with solvent to remove any oils to give me the best adhesion possible on the main parts of the blaster. Then I primed with a plastic primer to make sure that everything bonded to the plastic, that way you don't have the paint chipping off in the future. After everything was prepped, I top coated with satin black, and if you notice, I use Krylon for almost everything because you can run into problems when you use different companies because the solvents could react and it could create problems. After I had the base coat on, I taped off part of the blasters on each of the three and put on a coat of brushed metallic by Krylon. It's called Oil Rub Bronze. There wasn't quite as much difference in the color as I thought there would be, so I ended up doing some weathering later to make sure that you could tell the difference. After the two base colors, I taped off for golden copper highlights. I'm not a big fan of steampunk, but I love gold. I use Krylon's foil metallic gold. This stuff works really well. It's just about as real as you can get without using leafing. And I also use copper to do the highlights on the blasters. After the colored highlights were applied, I removed all the tape and the masking. That way I could get onto the final details. I made a small foam stamp using an X-Acto knife and a printout of my logo and tried to make it gear style. I then used Fiery Orange by Testers. I sprayed this on the makeshift stamp piece that I made and I used that to apply my logo to all three of the blasters tried using liquid frisket, which is a masking material that's liquid and you paint on, and I used that to mask off areas of the hammer shot so that I could use Precious Metals Premium Leafing Finish in titanium color to do highlights on the hammer shot. It worked relatively well, but it actually adhered to the foil metallic colors that I used by Krylon. I recommend not using liquid frisket if you use it over spray-on metallic colors. It sticks, it doesn't want to come off, and it actually causes discoloration on those sections. After that, I used enamel-based model paints to highlight some other areas of the hammer shot. Then I moved on to weathering. To do the weathering on the blasters, I used Krylon spray paints and I soaked it into old cut-up t-shirts and I used those as weathering tools, making sure that it wasn't too wet when I rubbed it across the blasters. The main colors of the blaster, like I said, were satin black and oil rub bronze, and the oil rub bronze didn't show that much difference from the satin black. So I weathered that with copper and then I weathered the satin black with chrome. I also tried my hand at weathering with mixed model paints and a dry brush technique on the hammer shot. This worked well, but it wasn't nearly as fast and it was much more difficult to get a consistent finish. All the small pieces of blaster that I removed, I wiped down with solvent and I used Rust-Oleum Universal Bonding Primer, which works incredibly well and Duplicolor Stainless Steel Paint which actually looks really good. I wasn't sure if it was gonna work well or not, but this stuff looks amazing. So I painted all the different little accessory pieces on the blasters separately. That way I could break up the color without having to do more masking work on the blasters. With those being painted and the main parts being weathered, all I had left to do was weather the accessory parts. That way I could put them back on and they would mesh with the weathering that I performed on the main pieces of the blasters. I used Krylon Satin Black sprayed into a piece of old t-shirt and rubbed that on the small pieces that went on the blasters. So in order to remember how all the blasters went together for reassembly, I took pictures during disassembly to make sure that I could put everything back together the correct way. After reassembly, I did some final touches. The wrapping on the handle of the hammer shot looks pretty bad from Nerf, so I decided to use actual sport grip tape to wrap the handle with to give it a good feel. I wanted the magazines for the Rapid Strike to look somewhat different so I used a base coat of Universal Bonding Primer on the plastic, then I did a coat of black, then a coat of silver, 
the foil metallic by Krylon, and then I used a coat of satin black on top of that. That way it bled through some and gave the effect of weathering without actually having to weather. Then I epoxied them together and wrapped them with grip tape. During reassembly, make sure that you watch out for all the little things on each of the different blasters that actually matter. On the MXB1200, make sure that you have the jam clearing door turned the right way, that caused me a lot of issues. Here's the leg drop holster for the hammer shot. This actually turned outer than I thought, and it works really well. This is my plaster cast. Watch my holster video, that way you can find out why I had to make this and how I made it. That way I can make that holster. Holster video. Check it out. I decided to paint the grips on the rapid strike to look like wood like I did on the hammer shot. And I used spray paint that I sprayed into a cup so it was really thin, but it ended up looking kind of like burl wood after I slapped it on with brush. I did some highlights on the accessories, that way they meshed in with the rest of the way the blasters look. The red dot sight doesn't actually work that well on the MXP1200 because it shoots so flat and the red dot sight makes you angle the blaster substantially to use the sight, but I just thought that it looked awesome on there, so I stuck it on anyway. I put the foregrip on the front of the rapid strike because I felt like it looked really cool with that extra attachment on the front of the blaster. All right, enough talking. Here they are completely finished. Let me know in the comments how you feel about my customization job, whether you liked it, you didn't like it, what you thought I should have done different, I'd appreciate the input. Subscribe to my channel to catch more Nerf stuff in the future and a bunch of other stuff that doesn't have to do with Nerf at all because I'm Jairus Hall. Anyway, thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys. See you later. Watch my holster video.